Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking for a John Doe found Brown County, Utah, uh, September 18th, 2014, 45 to 55 years old, estimated, estimated year of death, it says 2014, but this says estimated PMI years. So the descendant was found by hikers ascending out of the Central Canyon on the west side of Hotel Mesa. The area is near Moab, Utah. The descendant was laying on a decaying foam pad under a juniper tree. His race could be Asian, Native American, or Latino. Um, I don't know if that means he can't be Caucasian or not. He is, his estimated height is between 5'5 five five and 5'9. Five so one or more both limbs not recovered, one or more both hands not recovered, not recognizable, near complete or complete skeleton. I wasn't sure how far back to go. Leather gun holster belt with ammunition. Where is the gun? Green netting material, big lighter, pieces of blue rope with two black hooks attached, blue and white thermos sleeping pad, white and red handkerchief, dark leather belt, tan camouflage cargo pants, light colored shirt, camouflage wide brimmed hat, blue hiking socks, a size 10 high ankle brown hiking boots. And there's some pictures on NamUs that you can go to. And this is the holster. No gun. Why would somebody carry a holster with bullets and not have a gun? It doesn't make any sense, does it? Okay, so I did a search and I didn't put just Hispanic or Latino. I probably wouldn't have found anybody in Utah, because I, I did Utah first, just Utah, and so I don't, I'm, I'm guessing none of these could be him, if he could only be, and I'm not sure, but it sounds like if they're saying that he's probably Latino, Hispanic, or Amer Native American, that he's probably not Caucasian, so none of these could probably be him, and remember, he should be 45 to 55, and I usually add some years, so he's 43, Five foot ten, and it was. I think he's too tall, of course. Uh, five foot nine, up to five foot nine, five foot five to five foot nine, estimated. All right, so he's been missing since two thousand seven, and a vehicle found abandoned near Squaw Peak in Provo Canyon. You can pause that and read it. Um, then we have Dennis Lee Anderson, last seen Murray, Utah, 2000, last seen wearing a tattered flannel shirt, blue jeans, usually around homeless shelters, 36 years old, 5'9", um, that's way far away from 2014, uh, 2000, West Valley, Utah, last seen West Valley, Utah, Unknown where he traveled. Um, he may have gone to Texas. Uh, this one is 2004. That's a long time before 2014, too, right? Salt Lake City, last in Wikiup. And 5'6 to 5'7. But see, he's Caucasian, so. And this one's Caucasian as well. 2011 is closer to 2014, though. Hurricane Utah, age 51. I'm not sure. 5'7 is his height. Uh, went missing from his home. Let's see. Uh, Trent Collier, missing from Tool County, Utah. There's really no information that they give us. Uh, let's see. 2008 is so a long time back, 5'9", age 45. This man was age 57 in 2007, 5'7". Let's see, until Utah, there's no information really. A lot of them, there's just really no details. Uh, Martin Ernest Conley. So I went across to Colorado because some of these places in Colorado are much closer than the ones in Utah. So Grand Junction, Colorado, 51 years old, 5'8", 
Missing in 2013. That's 2014. Five foot eight. Let's see what it says. Subject left to friend's residence. Um, 319, 2013. Has not been seen since. His vehicle was located in Uri County. Forgive me if I don't pronounce that right. Brown hair, full head of hair. Normally short at the ears. Wears prescription glasses. So let's see. Uh, this man was Grand Junction, Colorado. That's pretty close to there. 55 years old. 2013, 5'10". Last known to be in Grand Junction. There is no reported sightings of him since that time. Rumors that he was murdered and buried in the Colorado desert. Brown hair, hazel eyes, it says. His hair looks pretty light, though it looks gray to me, so I don't know. And then this man, he looks like he could be Hispanic. But I don't know if that's too far back. And I don't know if he's Hispanic or Native American or... It says white, Caucasian, Hispanic, Latino. Uh, Montrose, Colorado, age 54. Missing since 2005, 5'9". It just says he was last seen between 8 and 9 p.m. At, at his home. Um, he wears hair pulled back into a long braid, hair color, black and white. So, t-shirts, jeans, baseball cap worn backwards, glasses, wire frames, possibly wearing tennis shoes. Only known vehicle was still at his home. So then there's some more people in Colorado so you can see um, their names in case you wanted to look them up or anything and the years let me scroll up because I know there's more yeah so 2013 but some of these are further and further away in Colorado but so I tried to put the ones that were just close, and I didn't include just Latino. I guess I should. Let's do a thing, and I'm going to get rid of, I'm going to put, I'll put Asian, American Indian, Hawaiian, Hispanic, Latino. And that pulls up seven of them. What was the age? 45 to 55. So I'll change the age to... Um, 43... 55... Okay, and then the height was it was five foot five to five foot nine. Right, so we'll do that five foot five to five foot nine. So then there's four, and we'll look at those real quick. Might as well add them in there, right? It just seems like they're pretty far away, though. I don't know. But let's see what they say. So we have this man, uh, May 7, 2005, Denver, Colorado, 5'7". Not a lot of information there, is there? Okay. And here's him again. And he wasn't far away, so... And Alejandro, 41 years old, June 8, 2001, 5'5". Last seen about 8.30 a.m. at his place of employment. He indicated he was headed home, but he's never been heard from since. 
And Frisco, Colorado, December 2000, 41 years old. He was last seen by a friend who made plans to see each other again that afternoon. Never showed up. Failed to show up for work the following day. Has not been seen or heard from since. And I just feel like Frisco and Meeker and Denver just seems like it would be too far away, right? I'll show you. See, we got Grand County, Utah. Two. Frisco. Colorado. That's four hours. But it's right there, so, you know, it could be, you know, hey, I'm going to drive them across the this state border, you know, if something happened, maybe they would drive that far, right? Just to go across the border to the other state to throw people off back then. Maker, Colorado, three hours. That's not really that far. And Montrose, Colorado. That's two hours. So, and Denver, hmm, I think that's pretty far. And that's just the ones we have listed missing. It doesn't, you know, it could be somebody that's not even listed as missing. So, those are the ones that I have that I pulled up. It, there's other ones, I'm sure, out there, but those are the ones I included in the video. And I just think it's strange. There's a holster, but there's no gun. And yet, and there's a couple bullets in it. I mean, did he have other bullets? What was he doing out there, right? Anyway, uh, don't forget to pray for their family, their loved ones. Feel free to leave comments. Um, and have maybe you noticed something I didn't notice. If you have any information whatsoever about who this could be, please. Why is there no phone number on this? Oh, there it is. That's case contributors. That's good enough. Please contact the authorities. Right here is a phone number. It's usually up here. Anyway, if you have any information whatsoever, please contact authorities and let them know. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Bye-bye.